Hey guys, welcome back to another video. And today, I will be talking about DC Fandom, what I experienced in the 24 hour thing, and everything I want to talk about. And this one's gonna be posted today, so I can so I, I put, so I can get more views, and so I can, of course, post this at an appropriate time. So guys, this is gonna be a treat for you guys. So now I'm gonna talk about the epic DC Fandom. DC Fandom is a thing we get where you can sign up, where it's a virtual thing where there are, you watch a bunch of hosts reveal the everything DC coming up, and they show a bunch of shorts just for fun, and they just tell you what's going on and what's happening next with DC. And oh my gosh, we got some major stuff. We got some teasers for Black Adam, first of all. Black Adam in the JSA. Black Adam's gonna be an anti-hero, of course, The Rock. They're actually making it now, and they're just gonna have the JSA. Adam Smashers, which I already knew. Cyclone, I didn't know, a new character that I just learned from that. Um, Doctor Fate and Hawkman. I knew three of those, and yeah, it's a small JSA that is probably gonna expand it, but yeah. And the Black Adam origin secrets looked really cool. Next, we got another trailer for Wonder Woman 84, and it was cool. Um, yeah, her best friend becomes the Chia. Uh, I think it would have been nice if they didn't say that, but yeah. But yeah, it was actually really cool how, how Cheetah looked. So they're having Maxwell, Lord, and Cheetah both as the villains, which I think is a nice touch. And um, yeah, they had a bunch of stuff with God. Did, uh, oh, the, actually, the only cast that was really all there was for Wonder Woman 84. Like with Chris Pine, Pedro Pascal, um, what's her name, Kristen Bell, um, Gal Gadot, um, what's her name, Patty Jenkins, all these people were there, and it was really cool, that was the first thing that came up. Next, we had some game reveals, Gotham Knights. So, I'll talk about more about something that I want to say right now in another video, of how, uh, I'll explain in that video, um, okay, I'll say it now, um, how... It's kind of frustrating how it, they're revealing so much about all these universes that I knew and you kind of felt special for knowing all the stuff that no one else knew. Now it's gonna become mainstream, but again, it's you can just enjoy it, which, yeah. So, Warner, Warner Brothers Montreal Games said they're making Gotham Knights, which is basically the Robin War storyline where there is the Court of Owls, Talons, all the Robins, and then, yeah, Batman's gone, and then the Bat family has to take over. The people thought they were trying to trick you into the, thinking they did something original. No, it's based off of that storyline. But it actually looks very smooth. Not as good as the Arkham games or Spider-Man game, but it's definitely going to be fun and different. It's gonna it's another step in the right direction with the video with comic book gaming. And it's just not it's not trying to do anything too new besides that there you get to it's that you're playing as a team. And it's, it actually kind of look, looks better than the Avengers team um, aesthetic but for the 2020 game. But yeah, and then they also have the Suicide Squad game, which is, uh, is going to be okay. It looks They both look pretty good, though. Um, now what else? The Batman trailer dropped with Robert Pattinson. Not as, not as that. It was a lot darker. And yeah, not definitely not what I was expecting. That that is good and bad, but yeah, they have the Riddler, Catwoman, and the Penguin, and there's they're gonna be the Valconi Valconi family in it too, and yeah, I, I was actually developing my own Batman story, and like I had like mo a lot of I had like I said Talons, um, the Court of Owls, the Valconi, and a bunch of other stuff they keep revealing, like the Penguin and the Riddler and Catwoman that I was gonna use in that series. But yeah, it's actually it's actually really cool. And the trailer, yeah, it was phenomenal. It, the Riddler is a, seems like an amazing take on the Riddler. Penguin and Catwoman aren't Catwoman or aren't Penguin and Catwoman yet. I think Harvey Bullock was in the trailer. I think Commissioner Gordon was in the trailer. And yeah, it was a I watched it like twice or three times, and the trailer was pretty rad. It was really good. And this Batman is going to be different. It's going to be more grounded and also less than the other interpretations. And uh, I think it's gonna be cool. And, it, and again, this is gonna be an entire trilogy of this. Guys, there's a lot to talk about. There's also a bunch of shorts in the middle of things, which were so fun. Um, 
They were called, there was a Harley Quinn one, which was hilarious, and I love that that show. Apparently, it's getting a season three, I think. There was also the Beyond Batman stuff, where all the cartoon Batman were talking to each other, Lego and um, just regular cartoon. Um, and then there was um, Terry McGinnis's and Bruce Wayne's commentary from Batman, the Batman Beyond show on the sixth, 1966 Batman universe. And that was really cool. There was this clay stuff. Um, what else happened? Oh yeah, there there's a Sandman Netflix project going on now. Um, there was more stuff about the Arrowverse multiverse. There was some Black Lightning stuff. There was some Flash stuff. Oh, nothing really new. There was Titan stuff, which was pretty cool. Just showed a bunch of scenes and talked a little bit about it. Um, what else? Well, I'm saying what I'm really excited for for last. So I'm trying to think of what else there was. All right, there's a Jim Lee portfolio thing. There was a Batman behind the cowl, which was, um, I didn't watch either. Of the, well, I watched the Jim Lee portfolio thing. But behind the cowl was Batman, the, the, all the people who dubbed Batman. It was giving them credit for what they did. Then there was this, uh, CN, born, um, boring CNN um, thing. I don't know why. It wasn't really a DC thing. But I guess they're promoting CNN, which I guess it, I guess it's cool. Not really though. And um, what's we call it? Okay, I guess now it was inevitable that I get to this. Okay, so right, there was Aquaman stuff. Okay, I need I just need to say. It. So the Snyder Cut trailer <laughs> dropped. It looks amazing. There are two Steppenwolf things. Two, him wearing two different suits. One of them might be Desaad, but yeah, there's one where he's wearing a hood. Another one where he's wearing an amazing looking suit. Steppenwolf looks amazing in that. Superman has his black suit. Zack Snyder revealed that it's gonna be that it's gonna be a four episode series, an hour each of Justice League on HBO Max. It's gonna. It's not the trailer wasn't as good as I was expecting it to be, but then it was also like the Batman also better than I was expecting it to be at some parts. I had really high expectations, just kind of lowered them a little, but yeah. So yeah, it showed a bunch of stu stuff with Cyborg. It showed that, that scene with Flash and Iris. Um, um, it, was, um, it showed Dark Side at the beginning. It showed Wonder Woman and the um, Arrow thing. Um, what can I call it? I, and people think you can see in a certain frame uh, Commissioner Gordon and the general who's supposed to be Martian Manhunter. There is um, King Atlan. There is more Aquaman stuff and how and it makes and it's explaining how he got the suit in the movie. Um, Zack Snyder revealed a lot of things. Hi, this thing, this um, Snyder cut is going to be revolutional for film. And it's, it's combining something revolutional for film and then it'll be on streaming. So it's crazy. And it doesn't only have to, you can't you don't only have to do what they're revolutionizing with streaming. You can do it with other things too. Well, you could just do it with any form of entertainment. It doesn't have to be you have to release it on streaming. You could release it theatrically, but not, nowadays it's easier on streaming because um, uh, pandemic crap, which sucks. And um, yeah, it looks really awesome. And then it ends with Batman talking to Just Lee, and he says, and it, it references the multiverse, um, Batman's dream sequence, and it starts with Ben Affleck, Batman saying that it ends with it. Talk to Just Lee, he says, no matter how many hells they've been through, he's never met us, or something like that. And then the trailer ends. So the CGI, not everything looked the best, but this guy only had $30 million to revise everything. So otherwise, this trailer was amazing. I am very excited for it. I hope it's good. Some parts made me think it's going to be good critically. Others, well, many not. But I think it's going to be a lot better than the original Justice League, which I liked. But it was extremely underwhelming and crapping on the legacy of the Justice League. If I wanted a Justice League movie, that was totally not it, no matter how much I enjoyed it. And yeah. The, there's another DC fandom thing for like a bunch of a bunch. Of, they have things called that, that was Hall of Heroes. They, they have these things called like Watch Verse, Kids Verse, Fun Verse, and all that stuff that they're gonna do all on September. Hi, it was for 24 hours, by the way, and um, for DC fandom, and um, they're gonna do it again in 19 days on September 12th to 
to September 13th, all the fun verse, kids verse stuff. And yeah, you guys should go check it out. It's not live anymore, so you're just gonna have to look up each video when you look at the schedule. And yeah, guys, that, that's really all I had to say today. That was a bunch of crazy stuff, crazy reveals, awesome reveals. And yeah, I was very excited to get to watch it. And it was awesome. I think you guys should watch it for yourselves, which you probably already have. Scrolling through YouTube, all the Snyder Cut stuff and the Batman trailer. And yeah, those are my thoughts on it. And yeah, I thought it was really awesome. Hey guys, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to like, subscribe, comment down below, dislike if you want. And remember, I'm the best.